Hey everyone, how are you today? So I have finally decided to show the bullet journal I've made for 2024. I've been making bullet journals for the past few years and this year I incorporated the pages that were meaningful for me and useful for me. I first started with a pocket where I could put some envelopes in which I could write some letters to myself, you know, to motivate me during the year. And then wrote down a couple of words that were meaningful for me this year and then moved on to writing birthdays of my loved ones and important people in my life because i have a habit of forgetting birthdays and i put a gratitude log because i do believe that it changed a lot of perspectives in me in the last few years and then i put a page in which i could put things that made me happy and then, of course, the ear in Polaroids because I bought an Instax Mini last year. And then Brain Dump, which is something important this year because I wanted to put all the things that my brain thumbs up with in the wee hours of morning or night into the book. Otherwise, it is all lost. <laughs> and then, of course, the bucket list wherein like, I would write the goals and dreams and a letter to myself for the year that and this page in which i want to remind myself that i am loved and a bullet journal isn't complete without a pocket in the back so i put a pocket in the back and i put random things in it like a calendar some sticky notes and a ruler with a sticky note <laughs> and also a key so that i could turn to it anytime i wanted and a year at the glance because sometimes I would need a calendar, right? And a pocket where like I could keep random things. Then I went ahead and added a reading log because reading is something I want to do this year. And a morning routine which I don't know if I'll follow. I put a tracker for menstruation and uh, urine pixels. And also the song of the month because I do love music. And then the biggest thing that I incorporated into my bullet journal this year is the meal prep corner. Even though I say the meal prep corner, it is in the middle of the book because I didn't want to put it every month. I wanted to put it in one place where I could change it every week depending on what I wanted to do that week. And I wrote out a note to myself and put a letter because I wanted to remind myself that Meal prepping is something that I need to do with kindness to myself and in my journey to be fit and healthy, I wanted to make sure that I was kind to myself. I put some places where I could write some easy recipes, I could put some shopping list and everything, you know, so that I could easily tear it and take it with me. I used a lot of sticky notes in my meal prep corner so that I could change them every week and add new ones. Now coming to the cover of the book, a few years back a friend of mine gave me these leather samples from her workplace. She used to work in an automobile showroom. She got me these and I kept them safe and I used them for my bullet journal this year and the cover looks really nice. I mean I love it. <laughs> Let me also show you my January bullet journal that I made. I wanted to make it very simple and had a very simple layout wherein I had the month drawn, a place for notes to be written and then mood tracker, some habit trackers and sleep trackers and a gratitude log. And then I went ahead and did my weekly spreads for all four of the weeks, I think five, yeah, all five weeks and each are unique, different with very similar layouts except for the last week which I wanted to put with sticky notes because it is something I wanted to try. So very simple layout and so this is what my bullet journal looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I shall share the plan with me for February soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.